We all have many goals as teachers, and one of them is to be effective English language teachers. Our next presenter will be talking about strengthening the quality of language teaching, characteristics that make an effective language teacher. I would like to introduce to you our presenter, Dr. Ghadir Melebari. She is an assistant professor of English language teaching for specific purposes at Umm al Qura University. She completed her PhD at the University of Hertfordshire, UK, and her undergraduate studies at King Abdulaziz University. Her research interests lie in the area of language teaching practices in ESP, methods and approaches of English language teaching, and teachers and teachers' professional development. She has been giving workshops on ELT for language teachers. She publishes opinion pieces in a Saudi Gazette English language newspaper. And now I will leave the floor to you, Dr. Ghadir Melebari. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, uh, and welcome to my session. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you, Ms. Zahra. I appreciate the kind introduction, and today, really, I'm very excited today to share my knowledge with you, and I hope you have enjoyed the session you attended today, and I hope you find this session interesting and useful, too. So. What I'd like to present to you today, inshallah, as what you can see on the screen here, uh, the strengthening the quality of language teaching in the 21st century, the characteristics that make an effective language teacher. Of course, we all agree that effective learning is strongly related to effective teaching and effective teaching. So, our aim and the purpose of this session is to give some suggestions for English language teachers on how to increase their effectiveness in the classroom and what English teachers should do to answer the needs of the 21st century in terms of language teaching. This is the overview of my presentation. So, first of all, I'd like to talk about uh, the characteristics and characteristics and the qualities of uh, effective English language teacher. Then we are going to, to talk about if you want to become an effective teacher in the 21st century. So, what should we know and what should do to be an effective teacher? So, here, how would you describe yourself as a language teacher? It's really interesting to hear from the teachers the images that they use about themselves to show us their views about their profession. So, how would you describe yourself as a language teacher? You could write it in the chat here. I can see. Mm. Yes, motivator. How would you describe yourself? I would give you an example. Some teachers, these, these questions when it's been asked, some teachers, yeah, patient, facil facilitator, okay, creative. Yes. Uh, yes, competent, excellent. Lifelong hard worker, excellent. Kind. Okay, I would say to you, uh, some teachers feel like gardeners because they plant the seeds and then they watch them grow. Some other teachers, and that was an interesting answer. Some teachers said they feel like uh, 
uh, they feel that they like an actors because they feel as if they are always on the stage. And some language teachers says uh, they are unique. They are not like others. And here I love to learn guider. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Sometimes the baby said <laughs> interesting, positive and enthusiastic teacher. Excellent. Yes. Why not? Okay. For me, my conception is I feel that language teachers are distinctives. We are not like other teachers of other subjects. We are not like other teachers because, because according to the content of our uh, subject. In general, uh, teaching other subjects, we could say, uh, teaching a subject is about finding a way to communicate information about the subject to the student. And to deliver and that and what's the teacher roles of that subject, getting the student to analyze the information about the subject in order to develop and create new ideas. But when we are talking about the English language teaching here, uh, is that is totally different. The student generally have content and the ideas. So your role as a language teacher here, giving them tools so they can find ways to express those ideas and always we need to remember that language teachers always working on the student skills we are working on the student skills because as i say the student already have the content and the ideas and so our role helping them to develop these skills so they can better communicate their ideas about their subject Okay, let's move an effective English language teachers. Okay, what qualities do language teachers need to develop to support their students to learn better and progress? As an English language teacher, really, I, all, I was always wondering about what makes us more effective. Is it the materials? The tasks we use in the classroom, the strategies to get the student involved, or our, or you know, we could say our attitudes and relationship with them. In fact, identifying the qualities and the characteristics of an effective teacher is not an easy task at all, as the term of effective can be understood, of course, differently by different people. Depending on the criterion we use to judge the effectiveness. For example, an effective teacher can mean teacher who always produces a class of high achievers or when her student get high marks, then we could say this is a very effective or a good language teacher or a teacher who generally receive positive evaluations from supervisors and administrators. But it would be different if the effectiveness is focusing on the teaching process and not on the result. Then we could say it's possible to define an effective teacher as a person who provides and delivers information to students in a way that is very clear, understandable, and motivating. However, in general, Focusing on the output of teaching and education, the effective teacher can be described as someone who should lead the higher student achievement and last uh, and long lasting learner. Uh, why? Uh, sorry, just I'd like to open this up for the screen. Really, it's not open. I thought it's open. Let me see. Is. Okay, just a moment, please. Okay. So that is. 
Okay. Sorry, because I thought that it was shared. Okay. So we could say, so at the end, we could say there is still no consensus on the determinants. An effective English language teacher has numerous definitions and determinants and qualities and characteristics in terms of different perspectives, such as effective factors, classroom management, and field of knowledge. Okay. So, here, to achieve our aim of increasing the effectiveness of language teaching, um, I have analyzed a number of articles in a language teaching area and I described an effective English language teacher's profile in relevance with the 21st century students need and demands. Okay, uh, if you read this quote, think outside the classroom books. What comes up in your mind as a language teacher? What comes up in your, in your mind as a language teacher here? Creativity, excellent. What else? Uh, we could say the language needs, the think outside the classroom box. This shows that the traditional classroom where teachers as the only source of knowledge, no longer uh, active, yes. Excellent. So this shows that traditional classroom where teachers as the only source of knowledge no longer focus in the 21st century student needs. So in the 21st century students should be taught the 21st century skills, preparing them for successful learning, life and work. So the language teachers now are demanded to be ready and should react fast and positive in facing the educational challenges, they should grasp the, that education uh, develops and changes affected by strong technological revolutions. In, as we know, English subject is really relevant to 21st century learning needs. So we are, as a teachers here, uh, we are playing a vital role to help the student to gain many skills, to get high standard use of English language. Uh, we need to equip our students. We found the problem that when our students graduated from, from the university, they, we found that they are lacking of skills. Uh, they don't have confidence in English, they might, they might speak English very good, but they feel uh, they are lacking of, uh, of communicating. They can't communicate effici efficiently. They couldn't write a proper email. They couldn't write, we could say, uh, they couldn't, uh, we could say, uh, able to, able to, to present their souls. Uh, so that's really, that's really what we need to think of. So the overviews above encourages us as a teacher to reformulate our concept of how we see ourselves to be effective English teachers. Briefly, we could say to be effective language teachers, teachers should answer the students' need and demands of the 21st century. So look at this figure. This is explains to us the 21st century skills and learning. So if you want to be an effective teacher, so you should know what are the 21st century skills and learning. Can you see here the can you see can you can you see here the students' outcomes that which are presented 
by Rainbow, these are the skills that all the students should have in the 21st century. While the below part here present the personal system that help to achieve these outcomes. So the first uh, skills are content knowledge. Uh, and the 21st uh, century themes, we get that covering global awarenesses, uh, uh, business literacy, civic literacy, health literacy, economic literacy. And the second one, learning and the second one here, the orange one is the learning and innovation skills, including uh, creativity, innovation, critical thinking and problem solving. Uh, if we look at the third one, uh, if you look at the third, third one, information media and technology skills involve the in, in, involve yeah involve information literacy, media literacy, and ICT literacy. So the last life here, the last is the life and career skills consists of flexibility and adaptability initiative, um, self-direction, social and cross-cultural uh, skills, and productivity and accountability, and leadership and responsibility. So the 21st century outcomes above should be correspondent with the 21st century teaching. So teachers should realize how we students learn the 21st century skills and how teaching can meet their needs. So teachers need to develop this, their student thinking skills. Uh, need, uh, sorry. Uh, just give me a second. There is a technical problem here. Sorry, pardon me. So here we could say to summarize what we have uh, to explain these figures, we could say teachers need to develop thinking skills of the student, exploit technology, uh, exploit technology uh, to support learning to provide the student engaging with technology tools, 
foster creativity as the connect as the foster the creativity for their teachers and foster learner autonomy. So that means let our student is being able to take control and responsibility of their own learning. And that is very, very important uh, to do with our students really in learning language in both the, let them to take the, the responsibility of their learning in both in terms of in both in terms of what they learn and how they learn it. Now, learner autonomy is particularly important. Students have limited classroom contact time for learning English, but they for sure need to increase their knowledge and skills. So it is important for them to become self-dependent uh, language learners who can continue learning efficiently outside the classroom. So foster learner autonomy, we could do this strategy through the use of group work and pair work and the group work, pair work activities and let our students control their learning process. And such of activities such as classroom discussions and one-to-one -one conversation with the teacher can help students to understand the essential part that they play in their own success in English. Uh, these activities can help students to transfer skills beyond the classroom and become more resourceful and uh, more dependent learners. Uh, and that would help them to build their self-esteem and confidence in English. And at the end, they will be able to face all the difficulties and barriers that they might face in the job marketing. Uh, so, to make it effectively with our student, first of all, we need to break the ice with our students and we need to establish an appropriate relationship with our students. We need to spend time making sure that teacher and teacher and the student uh, report is positive and useful. And that, of course, will help the teachers to play different roles in her class and to develop a good learning environment in the class. So, to summarize up this part, we could say that the implementation of autonomous learning is really significant factor to develop student skills in grasping the knowledge and promoting the critical and innovative skills which are considered as a very important demands in the 21st century skills as we explained before okay here if you want to be an effective english language teachers in 21st century, you need to know the characteristics and skills of effective English language teacher. So we could start with the adapter. The adapter. One of the qualities that you need to have is to be the adapter. Teacher can adapt the curriculum and dynamic teaching experience. Uh, a good language teachers realize that there are several different learning methods. Some learn, some teach, some students learn by hearing, some by seeing, and some by speaking. Speaking. So a good language teacher will create materials that could be suitable for all various learning techniques. The second one, uh, the visionary. Uh, Teachers must see the importance of the use of tools and web technology in their classes. And uh, uh, all the previous sessions, they, they presented these uh, themes and uh, they talking more about it. And we could talk about uh, the Second uh, one, the risk, uh, the, the third one, sorry, the risk taker. Teachers take risks and sometimes surrender to their students' knowledge. Uh, that means 
and sometimes the teachers need to be a uh, collaborator also. Collaborators, teachers collaborate with technology tools and with the students or their other colleagues in terms of sharing, contributing, and adapting and inventing. So, if we are talking here, and uh, one of the characteristics as well, the teacher be the communicator, yeah, sorry, the model. Teachers should be the model to teach moral values to students, such as having tolerance, acceptance, global awareness, and reflection. And the, as well, the communicator, teachers need to be communicators. Teachers are fluent in tools and technologies that enable communication and cooperation with the student, colleagues, and parents. It's really important to be to have very good communication skills with your students. And at the end, the learner. Yeah, there's we I didn't talk about the leader. The learner. Language teacher should be lifelong learner. Teachers with a lifelong learning mind treat mistakes and challenges as part of the learning progress. They don't see mistakes as failures, but mistakes give them new information they can use as they continue to find the ways to solve problems or challenge. Uh, educators or teachers never know what types of questions students would ask. So lifelong learners make learning regular and happy to adapt to changes in the student actions. Uh, when teachers, for example, take courses outside of professional development or and collaborate, they discover creative teaching me teaching methods. They will be more creative in their teaching. Okay, the leader, sorry, I didn't talk about the leader. The leader, the leader is the 21st century teachers are leaders since they are champion of ICT integration progress. Then they set clear goal and objectives to successful uh, learning. Okay. Here are, we could say the, as we see here, um, the four main characteristics of effective English teachers. Here we could summarize up what, what we have just said in these four main characteristics of effective English teacher. This is the foundation model of effective teachers that they are describing teachers in under four headings that the teachers under four headings, social effective skills, uh, pedago uh, peda pedagogical knowledge, personal qualities, and subject matter knowledge. So if we are talking about, so if we are talking about socio affective skills, so teachers need to be, um, teachers have, should have a positive attitude toward students. Uh, respond to students' need. Provide, um, uh, create, uh, create an environment in which their students can concentrate on learning in both uh, cognitive and emotional levels. Be enthusiastic for teaching. Establish and maintain positive relationship with the students. If you are talking about, this is the socio-affective skills. If you are talking about, okay, if you are talking about the second one, pedagogical knowledge, so teachers should know how to guide her students. Uh, teachers should having the ability to organize and explain and clarify, and providing the students with the environment in which they can be relaxed in order to learn and produce well and uh, should have knowledge of how are motivating the student, giving positive reinforcement. Um, 
uh, giving them more time for preparation and delivery. Uh, try to integrate different materials that suit your students. Try to, to elicit from the students the target language in the classroom. Be patient with your students. Okay, if you are talking about the personal qualities, being challenging and having reasonable high expectation, having sense of humor, it's really important to break the ice with your students and having a sense of humor. Believe me, this is one important, yes, as well, be a good listener, of course, and uh, being creative, uh, being patient, kind, sensible, and open-minded, flexible, optimistic, and at the end, having positive attitudes toward new ideas. Be a good listener to your students. Listen to, to, to your students. Feel them, let them to feel that you don't have any problems to make mistakes. I'm here to let you, I'm here to prepare, I'm here to help you. I'm here not for judging air or assessing your levels. Students have to feel that feeling from their teachers. Okay, subject, if we are talking about subject matter knowledge, use the target language in the class. It's really important to use the target language in the class. For example, if you're, if you're giving the student, we could say the present perfect or any kind of grammar, let the student to use them in the class, let them to talk about themselves by using this tense. It's really not hard. It's really, it's really not hard. That is really easy to make. Uh, um, be uh, all time guide the student to get some learning strategies. Uh, try to involve and engage your student in the learning strategies. Let them to try to see uh, how would they see your strategy if they don't like it. So that's fine. Change it. Change your strategy. Your student doesn't like your strategy of learning. Make it easy and make it simple for your students. Uh, it's really important to watch and inform students about, about their progress in language learning. It's really important to, to tell your students about their progress or to let them feel what, uh, to, 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 to see, to, they need to see their assessments. Okay. Uh, also, one thing that we need to know to be an effective English language teacher is the role of effective teachers. So what are the roles of effective teachers in the 21st century? Here. Here we have six roles of a teachers in the 21st century. Think about, I want you to, with me, I want you to think about the type of lesson you normally teach, okay? Uh, in which roles are you often involved? Um, are there any new roles you might try in the future? So it's really clear that the 21st century classroom needs are very different from the 20th century ones. So in the 20th in this, in the recent classroom, teachers are facilitators of the student learning and creators of productive classroom environment in which students can develop the skills they might need at present or in the future. So here you could see some of the most common teacher roles. Prompt. The teacher encourages the student to participate and make prompt. What does that mean? The teacher here should encourage the student to participate and uh, make suggestions about how students may proceed in activity. Uh, we could say also the teacher should be helping students only when necessary. So we only help them if they need the help. Okay. Um, the second one, facilitator. 
So it's when the teachers help the student to discover knowledge of their own and in relation with the technology. So the teacher should play the role of IT specialist, uh, network administrator, designer of learning experiences and learning facilitator. So if we're talking about the role of the role of the teacher as a sister, we could say here the teacher assumes this role to see how will the students are performing or how will they perform? Giving feedback and corrections for your students are very, very important, but you need to be careful in this because some students are very sensitive. So that would uh, could prove that so that could prove counter productivity or that could decrease the student's self-esteem or confidence in learning the target language. But at the end, giving a feedback for the student, giving the student the feedback is really important. Even if you make uh, such a small activity or such a small exercise, the student has to listen at your feedback, okay? They, it's really it's really important in learning strategies that the students uh, listen uh, to the teacher's feedback. Okay, the organizer. One of the other roles of the teachers is to be an organizer. Uh, we could say it could be the most difficult and important role the teacher has to play is to be an organizer. So the success of many activities depends on how, on how you depends on your organization uh how depends on how good organization you did or you spent in your classroom and on the uh, 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 so it's really important to give clear instructions to your students before they start any activities uh give them instructions then uh, give them time to understand these instructions then let them engage, then you could work as uh, an assessor here. So you could play different roles while you are applying, uh, while you are doing one exercise. So, but as the being organizer is really important role that you have to, to make it in your classroom. So the participant. This role, participant here, this role improves the atmospheres in the class when the teacher takes a part in activity. So sometimes the teachers take risk of this because they feel uh, naturally they are demonating the activity when they do this activity. So be careful in this. So you need to, it's really, it's really nice to participate your student in doing exercises. This, that's what that would help to uh, to increase your students' ability uh, in in in, in, sp in speaking as well. They feel that the okay, we don't have an assessors here with us. We uh, we all we all are playing this game, or we all participating in this um, uh, in this activity. So try, as I said before, try to break the ice and build good relationship with your with your students. Yes, exactly. So let's go. And the last role is the tutor. The teacher acts as a coach when the students are involved in project, uh, uh, involved in a project, or when they decided to do a presentation. So the teachers here work at, or working or act as a coach. Uh, let give your student uh, the time and the let them to think about what they want to do and your role here just being as a coach just guide them uh, help them uh, tell them that what are you doing is good or you are not in the correct way so this role can be a great way to pay individual attention to a student it can also allow teacher to a tailor make a course to fit the specific student needs Okay. So 
here. To be an effective teacher in 21st century, we need to do what English teachers should do to be an effective language teacher. Being reflective English teacher. What does that mean? The focus of critical reflection is to capture what every student is doing in the classroom in critical way and focus on the method that you have or material that you have used or uh, any techniques that you used in the class and you could reflect it and you could say to yourself what i'm doing is good appropriate with you suit my students levels so a good english language teacher is not only skilled at creating assessment for his class but she can also use those assessment to figure out how successful her teaching methods are. Uh, the, okay. The second one, developing teachers competence. This is very important. The requirement of any teacher is to know his or her subject as well. So, however, in most cases, it's vital to remember that as a teacher, you are guiding a learner to new knowledge and helping them discover the subject you are teaching. Doing is learning. This is especially important in language teaching. That's really, really very important in language teaching. As many students may enter the course as, we could, for example, we could say as a complete beginners or false beginners or have a little uh, knowledge of the language, but and uh, but little uh, little uh, knowledge of the language but lack confidence as a teacher recognizing what the learner know and doesn't know is very important the learning doesn't always happen quickly so give it space and time to happen give them give yani give them time Patience with learning process is one of the greatest qualities of a good language teachers. Patience inspires confidence in the learner. Be patient with your student. Having patience gives the learner the color. Having patience really gives the learner the courage to learn. Okay. Being literate, literate in ICT. ICT literacy can accelerate optimum achievement in learning. It will help English teachers to develop excellent English communicative competences. In the 21st century education, teachers are not the only source of knowledge. They cope with the digital era and see the students as a digital native who can search some resources from the internet. Okay. Promoting alternative assessment rather than traditional assessment. Uh, alternative assessment has become a prominent because of its effectiveness. And uh, Dr. Samar, uh, mashallah, she explained to us how alternative assessment is accepted. Uh, uh, is expected to present more benefits rather than their traditional assessment, such as uh, standardized test, which doesn't achieve high or high order thinking skills or doesn't achieve the learner autonomy. So, uh, in the other side, the using the alternative assessment has some qualities to be implemented. That alternative assessments embraces democratic decision-making process, so it promotes collaborative learning too, in which teacher and the student are a creative tool. The last one, attending some educational training and workshops. That's really very important. Uh, as one of good characteristics of English teacher, technical knowledge as keep up with the full regular reading and conference and workshop attendance. 
Um, as you see, there are some conferences and workshops English teacher can attend to enhance the inside information related to their teaching. And there are lots of ways of improving one's knowledge of ELT uh, and increasing one's confidence as a teacher. For example, you could read, I would say you could read the um, uh, ELT, you could read many books uh, in ELT or attending workshop like what you have done now. You have attended such of these sessions that really helpful to increase your ability, increase your effectiveness of English teaching. So, before I moved on into the conclusion, I would ask you from your perceptions or from your knowledge as a language teacher, what are the characteristics of online language teachers? What are the characteristics? You have, I think that all we have that experience of, of, of teaching online. So what do you think are the characteristics of an online language teachers. Teachers should be on a, so give me some distinctive know how to deal with the technologies, of course, yes. Attractive, how would you be attractive and online, in online? Being aware of mother, motivator, Organized, using apps, excellent. Yes, so that's, that's my presentation. Save efforts, her voice, punctuality, using online tools by using online teacher, yes. Use a lot of application, touching of students' interests, creative, encourage challenging. Use pictures of patient. We need to be patient with our students through the online teaching. Yeah, we could play, yes, games. What do you mean by games here? Motivate them, encourage them, be careful of the type of learners. Okay. Identification, excellent. You just need to be a creative. Excellent. Charisma, excellent. Yeah, that is really a very important feature that language teachers should have. Charisma, excellent. Now how to show listen in terms. Accuracy, uh, motion graphics, to know how to, it's a good B, why not? Very active because they love technology, yeah, okay. So that's uh, my lecture for today and my session. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with uh, your time with us. Do you have any questions? And I hope you enjoyed it and I find it useful too. Okay, we did we complete here. Okay, ladies. Thank you, you could see. Thank you so much. You could see my you can see my contact information. This is my email if in case if you need if you have any query or questions, you could ask me. Thank you for sharing your time with us and see you inshallah next time. Dr. Radir, for your incredible workshop. It was most beneficial. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the forum. 
We hope you enjoyed our session for the day. But before we all leave, let's hear a word from the deputy of the ELC, Dr. Nawal Azharani. Dr. Nawal Azharani, the platform is yours. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. During these three days, we, we have been nourished with brilliant presentations for which I want to say thank you for the presenters who um, spent time and made effort to prepare for this forum. I want further to thank the uh, moderators, Mr. Abdullah Al-Ghamdi and Mrs. Zahra Faqih, the organizers, Mr. Ali Al-Asmari and Ms. Bashair Al-Sharif, and the panelists, Ms. Sita Al-Atabi and Mr. Abdul Rahman Bawazir, for their great efforts to make this event run smoothly. We also want to express our gratitude to the Deanship of E-Learning and Distance Education at Umm Al-Qura University for their continuous help and support. I want to thank the attendees for joining us in this forum and making it a successful experience. A very special thank you goes to Dr. Sahar Zahrani, the ELC director, for working days and nights to make this forum happen. I hope you found it uh, useful and you're leaving with many uh, pract uh, practical and insightful takeaways. I want to remind you that the certificates of attendance will be emailed to you. Um, the email that you used in the attendance uh, survey um, it's going to take a couple of days as we have a huge number of um, attendees. Um, and I, I saw that many of you are asking for the slides. You can find them in the shared, uh, shared in the, in the chat box. Ms. Bashair, um, please make sure that you send it to the chat so people can have access to the slides. Uh, thank you again. Have a nice weekend and um, see you in other future programs and workshops by ELC. Thank you, Dr. Nawal, for your, for your words of wisdom. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we wish you all a successful and fruitful teaching year. Have a nice day and goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.